Hey guys and welcome! This is episode 30 and the final episode of my Feed the Beast Ultimate Skyblock Let's Play. Now, my name is Resero and I'm sort of dying here so I should probably eat something first. There we go. Some tasty melon. And um, well, in the last episode we got the final um, item we had to collect for the Feed the Beast object, uh, well to complete the Feed the Beast objectives list and um, that work uh, was essentially a stack of 10 ender pearls. Now there's one final objective left which we haven't really done yet and that is to create 10 snow golems. Now we made a couple of them but mm, they sort of suicided off of the edge of the uh, the island so I'm now going to expand the island a bit in this episode and create a small enclosure for my snow golem friends to live in. Now to do this I will need some cobblestone so let's see here. Yeah one stack should be sufficient I think. And um, yeah we'll um, expand the island on this side here. I can probably sorry my speakers were a bit loud okay there we go so I can probably fit this on the side here just want to um, make sure everything is nice and tidy and I'm thinking we should probably go for a like a long uh, enclosure rather than a square one so a long rectangular one and um, let's see here we're going to uh, yeah there we go like so hmm. well hmm. yeah why not so well Maybe we should go out one more. Don't really have enough cobblestone for that, but it's not really that big of a deal. You can always make more. If I chop down some trees, let's see. I would say, seeing as this is the last episode, I don't need to replant this, but I'm sort of meticulous like that when it comes to um, playing Minecraft. So let's see here. We have some birch, 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 birch. Very good. All right. And the minimum stone. This becomes obsidian and obsidian becomes iron. Then iron turns into clay. No, 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 no. Clay turns into clay again. And clay turns into gravel and gravel turns into dirt lots of dirt even there's more oh one more okay and this turns into cobblestone this is also incredibly bad for my minimum stone but still have enough resources to make another one and on top of that this is the last episode it's been a fun ride guys so my first let's play so let's call this season one and um, I've learned a lot about um, doing let's plays and actually also a surprising amount about um, Minecraft and Feed the Beast stuff I didn't know I know quite a bit about it but I figured out some new stuff thanks to you guys also uh, by giving me uh, some pointers uh, while I was playing and um, so I'm hoping the next um, next uh, let's play I'm going to do that it will go <laughs> at least as smooth or even smoother than uh, this one here. So now I'm just uh, finishing up my nice um, enclosure for the snow golems. I'm going to put a door in here sort of an arch with a nice door and uh, fences around the whole thing so 
some more pumpkin. Some sugar cane. Alright. So that is going great. So here we go. We need, first of all, we need a door, of course. One door. Perfect. Now some more planks and um, sticks, of course, to create fences. Hmm. Well, I'm not sure that 30 fences will cut it, but it's a start. Actually, I'm pretty sure it won't cut it, but we'll make more. So here we go. We have one door. So you put it like so. Very nice. And now we are going to start surrounding the whole thing with fences. And, well, I hope snow golems don't melt when they <laughs> when they get near torches. I'm pretty sure they don't, but I'm going to um, lay some torches in or around here. So, um, wow, that was actually enough fences. But I'm going to place some torches in or around the uh, the area to prevent any other mobs from spawning, which has been known to happen from time to time. So, hmm, I really don't want to make any more charcoal. Any like torches I can, let's say, borrow. Oh well, one final effort before the end of this uh, let's play season. I suppose. <laughs> All right, so we need one axe. It's very nice. Why is that not stacked? Okay, and let's chop down a tree here. That is great. So, a quick look. We can. This will probably be. Sufficient, I think. Yeah. So, oh, there's even some um, some fuel left. Didn't even need it. Okay. So let's see. Can we get rid of any of this stuff in here? Just toss it in right there. Very good. Okay. So while um, while that's cooking up, let's um, let's make some snow blocks. So I still have quite a bit of snow in here. Let's see here. All right. So four snowballs make one snow block. And we need a couple more because we need 10 snow golems, which means we need 20 snow blocks. There we go. That's more than enough. So let's toss those back in there. And let's start building us some snow golems so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten no that's not good all right don't misplace any more please Lucky I made some spares. Or a lot of spares, apparently. Hmm. Did I have that many? Oh, okay. <laughs> well, whatever floats your goat, I guess. So, um, yeah. Mm, can't sleep yet, but I do have my torches here. And the final ingredient for snow golem, which is pumpkin. I've collected quite a lot of those thanks to the um, the industrial craft breeding mechanics for uh, the well, the farming mechanics with the crops. I was actually quite surprised that worked so well. Hmm. Need more torches. This is not enough. Well, <laughs> I have enough on this side, but. Let's just put some up anyway. Hope leaving one open each time will be good. Yeah, there we go. 
and do like two here in the middle and then over here one another one there another one there and another one there and finally one here and two in the middle there so nice and symmetrical well except for the placement of my door here but that doesn't really matter all right so um let's uh, finish up this game so here we got the first snow golem hello my friend and another one and here we go yet another one and another one one more and the final two right here and here nope nope stay in there wow look at that tent oh hello hey 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 stop stop st no Ow, ouch stop that that was not a very nice skeleton I'll tell you that probably fell down from on top of the trees but um yeah guys um we did it sky block has been completed oh i'm um <laughs> pushing away my microphone here sorry so um yeah the entire sky block objectives list has been completed we made all of the items the farms the house uh, expanded the island even built a mob grinder or mob farm whatever small lake here which sort of froze over but it's it's a lake let's say yeah it's a lake and um our 10 snow golems here so that is really great i'm glad to have uh, finally finished this map and um it actually went pretty well quite satisfied i've played vanilla game log before but i always gave up so this is uh, has been a fun experience for me hope you guys enjoyed watching the videos and um I will be starting a new let's play very soon the map I am going to play is Skygrid this is made by I think Sefling I'm not sure um, I think it's Sefling anyway um, if maybe someone else but whatever in any case um, the uh, Skygrid map does include pretty much every vanilla block and item but unlike um, well unlike skyblock of course uh, it won't be easy either because uh, it's a very dangerous map to play but with the stuff that you can actually get on there it um, might be possible to do something more of course you won't have any uh, of the special ores and stuff spawning like um, like copper and tin and stuff but it may be possible to figure out some way around that issue by using uh, transmutation and then what not but um, and of course the uh, if we manage to get it maybe we can uh, make some mistcraft worlds on there so that's basically it for this um well let's let's say this season guys i've enjoyed recording these videos and i am hoping to record a lot more on other maps so um, i'm going to uh leave you guys here stop talking i talk a lot apparently but um yeah i will see you guys in the next season ish something